Today, we're going to build an app with Flutter that uses the microphone to display spoken words on the screen. We also want to highlight certain words such as like, comment, and subscribe as we speak. Finally, we're going to show the app's confidence level that the displayed words are accurate. Before we get started, make sure you check out my website, marcus-ing.com for my Flutter courses that teach you how to build a variety of apps with Firebase, from a notes app, to Instagram, to a real-time chat. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notified whenever I release new content. Enjoy the video! Let's start by adding a few packages to our pubspec.yaml. Speech-to-text allows us to take in voice input using the microphone and convert it to text. Highlight text highlights words in a string. And Avatar Glow provides us with a glowing animation. In order to use the speech-to-text package, we have to enable microphone permissions for iOS and Android. Inside of our info.plist, let's add the keys NS Speech Recognition Usage Description and NS Microphone Usage Description. The values of these keys are displayed to the user when requesting permission. For Android, we need to add the record audio and internet permissions to our Android Manifest.xml. Let's also set the min SDK version to 21 in the build docradle located in the Android slash app directory because the speech to text plugin requires at least Android SDK 21. If you run into any permission errors, check out the speech to text packages troubleshooting section on pub.dev. For this tutorial, we're writing all of our code in main.dart. You can separate the classes out into separate files if you want. The title of our material app is Flutter Voice, and we'll set debug show checked mode banner to false. We want the primary swatch of our app to be colors.red, and the home parameter will return a new widget called speech screen. Speech screen is a stateful widget that contains four instance variables. Speech is listening, text, and confidence. Speech is of type speech to text, so we need to import the speech to text plugin as stt in order to get rid of the error. In init state, we set speech to an instance of speech to text. The build method returns a scaffold widget with an app bar displaying the confidence level as a percentage. We multiply confidence by 100 because confidence is on a scale of 0 to 1. Let's create our floating action button. For now, we'll set onPress to an empty function, and the child icon is different depending on if is listening is true or false. We can center our floating action button by setting floating action button location to floating action button location dot center float. To achieve a glowing effect around our floating action button, wrap the floating action button in an avatar glow with animate equal to is listening glow color equal to the primary color of our app, and radius set to 75, duration and repeat pause duration set to specified durations, and repeat set to true. To see what the animation looks like, change animate to true. Now let's change it back to is listening. For the body of our scaffold, we'll use a single child scroll view containing a container with padding and a child text highlight. We can set words to a map of words we want highlighted, so let's go to the top of our speech screen and define a map called Highlights. We want to highlight words such as Flutter, Voice, Subscribe, and Like. Highlighted words have an on-tap method that allow us to do things like display dialogues or navigate to other screens when tapped. Since I don't plan on doing either of these things, I'll just set the on tap for each of the highlighted words to print to the debug console. The highlighted words also have a color defined in their text style. And something to note when using the highlight text package is that if text highlight takes in an empty string, you get an error. So make sure the text parameter is not an empty string. The last thing we have to do in our scaffold's body is set single child scroll views reverse to true. This is necessary to make the container scroll as more and more text is displayed in the container. The user will always be able to see their words as they speak. 
To finish up our app, we need to make an asynchronous listen function that our floating action button calls when pressed. We first check if is listening is false and call speech.initialize to initialize speech recognition services. If they are available, we set is listening to true to let the user know that the app is listening and call speech.listen to start the listening session. OnResult is triggered whenever new words are spoken. It sets the state of our app, updating text to the recognized words and setting the confidence value. We check if val.confidence is greater than zero, as OnResult sometimes returns a value of zero as the user is speaking and then updates to the actual value moments later. This is so our UI doesn't keep flashing between zero and the actual confidence value. In the else block of our is listening if statement, all we have to do is set is listening to false and stop the listening session. And now we are all done with our Flutter voice app. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, share this video, and start the repo on GitHub. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.